Remember the last time you were on an elevator? Did anyone talk to you? Usually the conversation was ask, push the button, maybe a polite thank you. Picture the scene, eyes focused towards the door, or maybe down at their smartphones. There is no sound except maybe an unintentional cough. Now imagine a two-year-old girl with her mother in tow in a Cinderella costume enters the elevator. After the doors close, the girl looks up at the man next to her and says, Hi. The man looks down, quietly says, Hello. Then something extraordinary happens. People start to smile and exchange glances with each other. They say hi to the little girl and maybe comment on her costuming, costume and how pretty she is. These nonverbal gestures break the ice among the adults and they begin to interact. This scene in the elevator is the reason I am so interested in discovering ways to increase the level of community of inquiry in online classrooms. Most online classrooms are like the elevator before the girl enters. Little communication, lack of trust, and focus on the task. Teachers and students are just worried about getting to their destination, much, much like the, the people on the elevator. Let's take the test, complete the paper, and receive a grade. My research is to uncover ways that educators might break the silence of the classroom by incorporating interactive tools in the classroom, such as chat rooms, video introductions, clear navigation, and virtual groups. Students and teachers, virtual groups. This is important for our students and society. According to much research, higher levels of community inquiry lead to both higher retention and student performance. Online classes are here to stay. And the reason they're here to stay is because they're flexible for students. And they're very cost effective for institutions. Educators must be the little girl in the elevator. Using interactive tools to break the silence and help students know each other in a supportive environment, build trust, and truly become a community of learners.